75% of US employees will leave their job within five years of being there. That is really expensive for a company. And that is why corporate culture is important to a company's success. Uh, on the flip side to that, 82% of employees said that they'd be less likely to leave an organization if flexibility went way up. So if their job flexibility, if they could choose their hours a little bit more, et cetera. Beyond that, and you know, from different studies and different companies, you get slightly different data. Um, but a whole bunch of companies have recorded, on average, 100% more applications come in if that company is, really is, is known for having a really great company culture. So that's why company culture is important. In this video, we're gonna unpack four case studies from companies that you have heard about that also have some really practical strategies that you can then implement to uh, improve your company culture, whether you're small, or big. Let's get into it. So our four case studies slash anecdotes are gonna come from Google, SpaceX, Amazon, and a lesser known traditional medicinals. Let's jump into it. So Google right away, I've shared this in other videos, and the New York Times has written about this, but Google went on a, a giant study couple of years back to unpack what are the characteristics of the highest performing teams within our culture at Google. And the number one characteristic that they found was the degree of psychological safety in that team. And that's really interesting. And the way that they train that in onboarding is to talk about um, inclusivity of not only people, but ideas, right? Wanting to seek and gather diverse perspectives. And so uh, I, I love the way that they frame that because I had a mentor that once used to say that um, a choice of words is often a choice of worlds. The reason that for me is so potent is when I look at all of these companies, when I look at company culture, and company, you ask 20 people what company culture is and you'll get 20 different responses. But loosely, let's say that uh, corporate culture or company culture is the culmination, the set of values, goals, ideas, actions, behaviors, and practices in a given organization. Now we could go deep dive into what the definition is and the semantics, not gonna do that because I wanna give you some more practical strategies to enhance corporate culture so that 75% of people don't leave your company within five years because that's really expensive. So talking about that, a choice of words is a choice of worlds. Uh, Elon Musk was noticing at SpaceX that there were way too many acronyms being used. And because the way that people are designed to, uh, to wanna seek that psychological safety, we don't wanna be caught dead not knowing an acronym. And so oftentimes we pretend to know acronyms. And so at one point, Elon sent out a memo saying, no more acronyms at SpaceX, which is crazy because SpaceX, NASA, like organizations that launch things into space usually use a lot of very complex terminology that gets bundled into quick acronyms for shorthand. Now, I don't know to the extent to which that is still uh, thriving at SpaceX. It seems a little bit impractical to use zero acronyms, but right, the point is um, being clear and simple with our language allows us to involve everyone and not to lose out on perspectives because somebody's pretending they know what's happening. Amazon culture makes it into the news quite frequently. I'm gonna just let Jeff speak for himself um, in this clip about some practices, if, cult if practices are a part of culture, speak about some practices at Amazon that absolutely shape culture and set it apart from many other companies. We try to uh, uh, create teams that are no larger than can be fed with two pizzas. We call that the two pizza team rule. Um, no PowerPoints are used inside of Amazon. I think that, that Amazon two pizza rule helps align with Google's research and, and helps increase psychological safety. The bigger the room you get, the closer you get to public speaking and people fear public speaking. So in addition to the two pizza rule and no PowerPoint, Amazon also does this brilliantly unique thing, which you may have heard about in other places. It's become popularized as of the last couple years, but rather than getting together and starting a meeting verbally right away, 
they exec, especially in executive meetings, they've got a six page memo that's written out and they all get together and like study hall in high school, they sit there and read that executive summary that has details, right? It's sentences, it's not bullet points. It is this detailed narrative and they actually uh, teach narrative writing at Amazon. So it's this narrative that everybody reads together and then they talk about it. Jeff Bezos talks about how impactful that is to just get everybody on the same page, the same context. Again, a choice of words is often a choice of worlds. So can you imagine starting your meeting with a half hour of reading all the exact same words together, formulating your own thoughts, and then having discussion? It's brilliant. You don't need to, people don't need to feel the need to repeat themselves over and over again. Um, it's a brilliant strategy. Maybe not for every one of your meetings, but definitely something to um, experiment with and try. Lastly, Traditional Medicinals, which might be a lesser known company, definitely than SpaceX, Amazon, and Google, but they're a brilliant company. You might have sipped their tea before. And I was talking with uh, their CEO, Blair Kellison, at an event one time. And one of the things he said to me really got lodged in my brain. And it was uh, the idea that purpose and culture are your two most valuable employees and they work 24 seven. So when you're talking about why is corporate culture important, employees that you don't technically pay a salary to that work 24 seven for you. And that works on the flip side too. If you have a really negative employee, that impacts the company. If you have a really negative work culture, that's working 24 seven to undermine whatever it is you're trying to accomplish. I hope these four uh, companies held some really great ideas, practical things that you can take to ramp up your company culture a little bit. Talk about this kind of stuff all the time on my YouTube channel and with clients that I work with. I get to work with some of the smartest, coolest organizations on the planet to help them build really foundational, strong cultures of connection and engagement. And so if that's something you're looking for help on, check out the links in the description. Would love to have a chat and talk. If you don't wanna have a chat and talk, but you're just looking for tools, we have this uh, brilliantly designed connection toolkit filled with a couple card decks and books that um, I've written along with my partner, Will Wise, to help companies create cultures of high psychological safety, cultures where com communication is really effective, cultures that are worth showing up to. If you stuck around to this point in the video, I'm super grateful for you you're the kind of person that I like to hang out with. And so thanks for uh, being here in cyberspace with me. I hope that our paths get to cross live in cyberspace at some point or in person. Have an awesome day. <laughs> More videos here and here if you wanna check them out. Ooh, this is kind of crazy. Wow, all right, that's fun, that's new.